The study shows higher death rate for residents at long-term care facilities in socially isolated neighborhoods, and that long-term care use is expected to double according to a report. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Gary Omar, filling in for Dane Henning today. It's Wednesday, June 23rd. Happy CNA week. To stay in the know of long-term care news, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at nacacna.org. Join today and stand up for what you deserve. Nursing home operators with facilities in socially isolated neighborhoods are at an increased risk of losing residents based on findings from a new study published in JAMA. A recent analysis conducted by a Boston-based research team found that long-term care residents in facilities located in areas with high levels of social isolation have higher mortality rates than residents in facilities in places that have more social contact. Findings show residents entering facilities in neighborhoods with highest levels of social isolation among the older adults had a 17% higher risk of mortality compared with those in neighborhoods with the lowest levels. Social isolation among seniors has been an ongoing topic among the long-term care industry due to the COVID-19 pandemic and its connection with depression, anxiety, and cognitive decline among nursing home residents. Researchers said the findings suggest that the need for operators to place special attention and strategies to keep long-term care residents connected to their friends and families for optimal health. The long-term care industry is expected to get an influx of nursing home residents and other seniors within the next four decades, according to a new analysis from Media Care Guide. The research released Monday revealed that the federal government is projecting there will be 95 million people aged 65 or older by 2065, with 15% of that group expected to have at least two disabilities. As a result, the number of Americans using long-term care services is expected to double from 7 million to more than 14 million by 2065. It also revealed that American men who turn 65 between, between 2020 and 2024 will require an average of 2.3 years of long-term care, while women in the same category can expect to need an average of 3.2 years of it. The majority of care, the same as today, will be provided by family members or loved ones, report authors noted. But the demographic wave also will stimulate more needs for formal care. The additional usage is also expected to produce an influx of cash to the long-term care industry. The analysis also estimated male seniors will spend an average of $142,000 of long-term care needs over the next four years, while female seniors are projected to spend $176,000. This has been your Long-Term Care News update. Everyone have a wonderful week and join Dane next week on Long-Term Care News.